Gravity cars are basically they like go down hills and they're powered by gravity because they don't really have like a specific uh, power source like they don't have like engines or anything so when they go down the hill right they're just going down with the power of gravity so basically gravity cars like when they go down the hill there are no pedals or anything so it's like mostly just with gravity and they um and they just use like the power of like like the um the momentum that it that it gets from the the, the top of the hill to the bottom of the hill. As you can see in this clip, the cars are using the force of gravity to be able to go down the hill. It's a lot of fun. It's just a lot of fun. You get in these cars, you ride them down the hill. There's, and there's a lot of engineering involved and a ton of learning. So basically, the only materials that we're allowed to use are, um, are like wood, screws, and old bike parts, old bike wheels, and... Um, did I say screws? Yeah, screws. And um, and that's pretty much it, just old uh, bike parts and stuff. Yeah, and another thing he forgot to mention, we, we could also use metal, and we also had lots of power tools, so we could, um, including a welder, so we could weld our own uh, parts. Out of all the years doing the project, that's a tough one. Um, there have been so many amazing, unique, solutions to this engineering challenge that um, I never would have told the students to. Had they said, what should we do? And I said, you should do X, Y, and Z. I never would have gotten the cars that I've gotten in that, that time. So yeah, my favorite part is, is the unique solutions that kids come up with to these crazy problems. That's a question. My favorite memory uh, is probably watching everyone go down and crash their cars because, I mean, we're all just kids. No one's really, like, good at building. So everyone just started crashing. It was really funny. That's, like, my favorite moment. Um, My favorite moment was definitely when um, when Shafin here was going down the thing and apparently the brakes, the brakes stopped working and he, like, in the car, like, 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 tipped, they could, like, tilted over and he just went, and he just, like, went straight to the woods and it was the funniest thing i ever seen um yeah it, it, it's like half and half like if you get like a wipeout and it's not like a like a super like um like a super like a super bad one where you're like falling on your head and stuff but like it's fun to like watch but it's not be it's not fun to be the one wiping out it's, it's not fun to be the one wiping out um i'd say it depends it's worth like I feel like about a crash into like the woods, and yeah, I'd say it's worth it because I mean you don't really get hurt, and it's funny. But I feel like about to like fall off your car while you're going really fast, I say that's not worth it because that like hurts. It ain't gonna ruin your clothes too. Yeah. Um, take engineering one, and then take engineering two, and get a good team together, and work together as a team because that's how a big project gets done. Um, so basically. The advice I have for the next class doing this project, I think I would tell them to um to uh to to not really go for the um grade, but go for um mostly the the fun parts and use all and use all the um materials the materials that are provided for you and think outside of the box. Um, I have two pieces of advice I have is first don't use metal because someone a lot of people in that group use metal and their cars did not go out well. They were like pretty heavy and they weren't even that fast. And another piece of advice I'd say is plan out your idea before you build. Because if you make a mistake, it's kind of like you have to restart. But if you plan it all out, you know, you have like a solid idea on what to do. Okay, thank you guys.